Hi there, this is Paige with Stamp Girl here on YouTube and welcome to my channel. In this video I want to share with you all of the Christmas cards that I've made throughout the year for the collaboration 10 on the 10th. This collaboration is hosted by my friend Kim who is Metal Scrap and Chick here on YouTube and each month on the 10th we share around 10 Christmas cards that we've made that month and sometimes we share more than 10, sometimes a little bit less, but around 10 so that by the time December rolls around we have a good collection of Christmas cards ready to be mailed out. So I thought it would be kind of fun to go back through the months and share with you all of the Christmas cards that I've made and if you're interested in learning more details about any of them just go back to my channel page and look for the video. So um, recently I shared with you my December cards. These were made with a Tim Holtz um, die that cuts into the paper rather than cutting out of the paper. So those were December. In November I used some word background paper and some candy cane stripes and this is a punch and a tag and some ribbon and made those cards. For October I did some intertwined squares on buffalo check. I guess that one looks upside down. And those are all basically the same and then just embellish with some glitter dot stickers and some sparkly ribbon. For September, I made some little square cards. Uh, not quite square. These were five. Yeah, I guess they were square. Five by five. And these featured um, some felt embellishment pieces that Stampin' Up! used to sell, and they were gifted to me by my friend Linda. And when I ran out of those, I pulled out some felt flowers from my stash. For August, I used some really pretty um, specialty paper from Stampin' Up! I believe this was from last year. And then some gold foil that I embossed. And I just cut apart different... Um, pattern papers and put those together. And for July I used a little die to cut out these little coffee mugs and just did a lot of layering and a lot of popping up with dimensionals. For June, I made gift card holders, and the gift card goes into the slot here. Just different patterns of paper. For me, I used a border punch that punches out star shapes and then I put some metallic cardstock behind it. These all turned out a little bit differently. Um, there again some specialty paper from Stampin' Up! Some things I embossed, some were little um, pieces that came in the collection or suite. Let's have those. Where are we for months here? Uh, for April, I made these. Again, uh, some are a little different. Most months I made all of my cards exactly the same, but some months there were a few where I made them just a little different from each other. In March, 
I made these little grids with some Dollar Tree um, gift tags and some Dollar Tree felt um, shapes and I guess I just went through and pulled out all the different kinds of paper and stickers from my stash for these. So just a wide variety there. For February I used some more specialty paper from Stampin' Up! which means the paper had foiling accents on it. And again some of these cards are different from one another. And then um, this was another one from that collection. And then in January I used a stamp set and created a little a little winter scene. And these are all basically the same, just the background paper is a little different on each one. So some of you might remember some of these cards if you've been following me along all year. But here is my pile of cards that's falling all over. A whole year's worth of cards, 10 on the 10th, and each month I made at least 10 cards. Some months I made more. So yeah, I'm ready for sending out Christmas cards this year and probably for some future years as well. I'd like to thank you for joining me. And now I'm off to create.